As ground heater technology becomes more widely utilized, additional applications are being discovered. Here, ground heaters warmed forms prior to a pour for an elevated slab of bridge decking. The ground heater then helped cure the concrete following the pour. Ground heaters saved the contractor time and money and were much safer than hot air methods. Faced with wintertime concrete and a requirement to keep all the concrete between 50 degrees and 100 degrees for seven days, we had to come up with a way to heat the concrete from the time that it was placed until it was completely cured a week later. So we used the ground heaters basically to preheat the forms then also to maintain that uh, concrete temperature despite um, weathers that uh, brought us down into the mid-teens and the 20s throughout that time frame. Heating this bridge from the underside would have caused a lot of problems logistically. In the past, uh, a lot of contractors have opted to use forced air systems, tarps, blankets. That's been the traditional approach. The hydronic heater basically allows you to heat from the top, which made it much more efficient, much more effective, a lot less fuel used than you, than you would with forced air heat. Uh, turned out to be a very good and predictable uh, solution to the problem. The benefit of using ground heaters uh, primarily is that you can control the temperatures, uh, you can monitor the temperatures, uh, they're extremely fuel efficient, uh, they don't require, uh, like I said, the forced air and the tarps. Um, it's a much more confined system and much more easily regulated than other methods that, are, that have been used in the past. One of, the, one of the overriding cost concerns, while some people may think that equipment is one of the biggest costs in a winter concrete project, it's actually the fuel which costs the most. One of the real advantages of the ground heaters is how efficient they are with their fuel. The fuel cost for using the ground heaters is typically half of what you'd pay for other types of heat, uh, those being a uh, petroleum or a, excuse me, an LP gas or a natural gas fired system. These use a diesel fuel and they're a lot cheaper. The specifications required us to keep the concrete between 50 degrees and 100 degrees for seven days after it had been placed. The deck being 12 inches thick, left unprotected, would have quickly assumed the temperature of the air around it. What we did, using both the insulating blankets and the ground heaters, were successfully maintain all of the concrete that we placed in that temperature range between 50 and 100 degrees, thus giving the state exactly what it was that they were looking for. We actually monitored the temperatures in each slab using embedded temperature gauges so that we could maintain record throughout the process. Each one of these concrete placements had upwards of 18 to 25 temperature sensors embedded in the concrete, and each one of those were monitored on a daily basis. So we watched it very close, and the state watched it very close, as they should. In the end, it was a success. All of the pores fell dead on in the range between 50 and 100 degrees no matter what the outside air temperature was. So we have a satisfied client, we have a successful project. This uh, particular project probably could not have gotten done. We've placed uh, the equivalent of 10 football fields of concrete um, in a wintertime situation beginning at Thanksgiving. We'll finish up here on the 1st of April. Um, it was a, a tremendous effort on the part of our people, but what really made it possible was the ground heater system that allowed us to keep moving during the winter months. The powerful ground heater positive displacement pumps are capable of pumping the heat transfer fluid as high as 250 feet. This allows the ground heater to remain below grade while still maintaining a fast flow rate and consistent heat delivery to the job surface. We thought the technology was uh, beneficial to our project here and we see it as something that uh, will, will allow us to uh, work further into the winter. Ground heater technology has successfully cured bridge decks the world over. If it wasn't for the ground heater, we wouldn't be, here. We wouldn't be doing what we're doing now. We would still be forming and pouring bridges at this time.